Hi, Parkwood family. Pastor Cindy here, bringing you the weekly encouragement. I know what's gained a lot of popularity in recent years has been renovation shows and fixer uppers and flip that house and a lot of places that have, you know, before and after or makeovers, that type of thing. Um, I enjoy watching those myself. I like seeing something go from needing a lot of work to a beautiful transformation. And uh, my husband and I have some personal experience in this area, we have, having bought a farmhouse in, some years back. And we just did a, a recent uh, renovation in our kitchen. And I brought some pictures to share of our before, or basically the demolition day, and then how it looked after. Now, a lot of times on these renovation shows, the transformation happens within about half an hour or 45 minutes or an hour and it goes from terrible to beautiful. And I can't say that's the experience we had exactly. Ours took about eight months to a year of that process. And that's the part that a lot of times we want to avoid in that we live in a world of instant gratification or instant results or quick drive throughs or same day delivery. And it, it's the process that we aren't always excited about when it comes to renovating for us, it was because my husband would go to work during the day and then come home most nights and work on it. And it's the electrical, the plumbing, getting permits, getting inspections and the drywall and all the steps that are part of the process that just causes us to at times be impatient. And, and we wanna just get it over with. And, and that is the part that I wanted to look at a scripture in James chapter one, starting in verse two. And it says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. And then I also like that same scripture, but in the message translation, it says, consider it a sheer gift, friends, when tests and challenges come to you from all sides, you know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true colors. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Let it do its work so you become mature and well-developed, not deficient in any way. And I like how it says it, the true colors will come to the surface. And I, I think for even this past year, I just think of um, how many challenges and trials and disappointments and frustrations and, and for some people, even some tragic situations have taken place. and. Maybe if we're honest, we haven't always been patient in part of this process. And I think even an example of online learning with students being at home from school, that can test your patience. And so I just think how many times in life that we, we just want to get those types of situations over with. And I know for the home renovations, it's totally a first world problem. But even this past year, this has affected everybody in so many different ways. And it's, it's the patience part that many times that we, we don't want to be patient. We want to just get through this and get it over with and, and pretend like it never happened. And I, I also want to look at a scripture in Romans chapter five, three of five, and it says, we can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character, and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us, because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. And this past year has definitely had a lot of trials and challenges, but it's the, as we allow patience to have its perfect work, it will develop the endurance in us and the strength of character that we need to go through life situations. And we don't know what's ahead in the future. God does, and that, that, that's our hope that we can hang on to, but we need the endurance and the strength of character to stand strong and to go through any trials or challenges, and then we'll come to that maturity and that completeness lacking nothing. And then there's also another scripture in Philippians 1 verse 6 that says, I'm fully convinced that the one who began this glorious work in you will faithfully continue the process of maturing you and will put his finishing touches to it until the unveiling of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I like that word unveiling because it reminds me again of the before and the after. So the good news is church it's not us doing it in ourselves. It's God is with us. He is in us and he is working in us. So our part of the process is yielding to it and allowing him to have his way in us and yielding to that patience to have its perfect work and cause that maturing to happen in us so that we will have, will be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. And so be encouraged today, Parkwood. Know that God loves you and he is with us. He has never left us and he is the one that is doing that work in us to that final day where we'll have the unveiling or the after picture. Be blessed.